Welcome back to another episode of Amorous. Oh, oh. oh welcome. Oh. Now deciding what to do. No for next. Should I leave a message to him or should I drop by the club? Mm. I choose to, to drop by the club. If we couldn't find that time to do it, then I needed to make that time to see him again. He mentioned a meal break and dealt on thrilled about his food options. Maybe I should grab something to bring. I got myself together and headed towards the door. The only question was what to bring. Between me and the club were a few choices that were open this late. Oh, more choices. They were good. Dragon's House of Nuggets. Mia Amor. Burial Wolf. Um, let's go with having him. Himple. It wasn't much of a romantic. Dinner, but Burial Wolf was. Who were important things? <coughs> Fast and cheap. Considering I was pressed for time, it seemed like the best option. I pulled through the drive. Ruel, after a quick scan, went with t of the most monster burial meals. Who doesn't like a double meat, but then fries at 1 am? I mean, aside from most p normal people, with traffic bank almost non-existent, it was easy enough to get with a club in record time. After wrestling with the heart, to if you know the only space remaining, I hoofed it to the front to remain my, in my way inside. The place was. Hugged from wall to wall, and I could barely hear anyone over the music and the crowd. Even though I can't see anything right now, since this whole rarity girls, yes, I mentioned, invited a few more friends over throughout the night. Luna. Hi, girls, it's Fresh Meat, and I'm bad doing you want that. that. Woo! Take off your top! I spluttered in place as the girl bounced in front of me. Sloshing her to drink around, I was pretty clear from her, it was pretty clear from her expression that it wasn't her first. Come on, get loose! Woo! Hey daddy, it's a party! You should go with us, I know. I just know money couldn't be into you. I tried to bow out, shouting over the noise as she began to tug my arm and yanked me in the direction of their booth. I des desperately looked around for Yaxar and one else I recognized as she pulled me to a table scattered with sh hot glasses. Shots! 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 Woo! As I was about to down one, just to get them let go, one of the other bartenders from last night helped me on the shoulder. He gave me a wink and nudged me back as he laid out a whole new array of beverage for the enthusiastic crowd. They seemed to forget about me for a moment and snug each of the alcoholic fruit salads of the tray. Sorry about that. I've been getting a little rowdy. Follow, follow me. The two of us made our way through the club and back to the main bar. He lifted a small operator and ushered me past it and through the swinging kitchen door while it was a bit darker back there, it was also quieter. 
Dad, now I don't have to shout. You'd see every right. Except being complaining about having to work tomorrow since the start of his shift. He told us you might be dropping by. Seems like he's pretty fond of you. He gave me a bit of an elbow notch as I stared back to him. I didn't expect his co-workers to be so aware of his dating life. I just tried to smile and not feel too awkward about Owen knowing more about me than I did about them. Yeah, well, paid it off pretty well. Good to see him dating again. Been trying to bury himself in work for so long. Heck, it's just his luck that the one he asks of, of his wake is when Mitch gets sick. He led me back to an empty rub table in the back of the kitchen. A couple of abused bar stools served as chairs. He motioned to one and smiled. I'll let him know you're back here. After I got settled, he stepped back out <coughs> into the club. My heart was spinning in five minutes. <coughs> I learned more about the ex post than I had over our world first date. <coughs> still, his initial reaction to me outside the bar made a little more sense, though I still didn't know what had actually happened. <coughs> I started on hacking what I brought. Grabbing a few dishes from the cleans, stuck near the dishwasher and setting them up on the table. I just poured us each a glass of water when Jax walked in. It had clearly been a long night for Jax and his hyper attitude was waning and his stomach was audibly rumbling. It made me wonder if he had a chance to grab something to eat since this morning. Hate to be blunt, but I'm starving. Do you mind if I, we just jump in? Not at all. I nibbled at my food while Jax wolfed his tongue. I asked him about his day. How he was Doing now and the two of us exchanged pleasantries as we ate, still couldn't thought what the other bartender had said out of my mind had, and it's nor the awkwardness of him knowing my name without knowing his, Yaks must have sensed it, as he set down his food and smiled. Much better! <laughs> Sorry, but if I don't get something to eat, I tend to go. I'll ups around this point. Burial wolf going all out for a romantic painter, huh? Hey, I didn't give him much lead, heaven, who doesn't enjoy a good monster burial and rise every now and again. I'm just teasing. <laughs> it's basically better than reheated Mackage. He's for the third aim in a row. <laughs> Thanks. Sitting across the table, my mind wandered back to what the other bartender said. It seemed clear that Jax was at least interested in me. So why was he so quiet when we first met? I didn't want to pry, but I had to know. Jax? I needed to ask you something. It's been buffering me for a while now. What's that? Yesterday, you were a different person at the start. Quite reserved, unsure. Here though, you're a showman. You, your co-workers mentioned that you hadn't been dating in a while. I just... 
Um, what will be good here? Uh, maybe a bit direct. What happened? It's not important. Uh, well, it is important, but it's not a big deal. I want to make sure I'm not getting the wrong signals. I like you, Jax. It's a little painful still. Hard to talk about even with my friends. Oops. I figured, but... I like the you I got below when we first met. The you that I was with after the movie. I don't want him to vanish on me. You're only the second guy I have dated. Most of the time, I've been with women. It's always been casual and we have been friends afterwards. But the first guy I was with, I met back in college. He shifted a little in his seat, his scales fading to a dollar hue. It was clear he was getting a little uncomfortable. He was a driven guy, very ambitious. He gets to rate A's in all his classes, involved in nearly every activity on campus, and he wound up torturing me in math. We got to know each other, and then one night he leans over and kisses me full on the lips. He blushed as he looked down towards the table. Shutting his eyes for a moment, he took a slow breath and continued. It wasn't really an aha, and gay moment, but it was intoxicating. It was like being new to the whole thing again. We were tied throughout our last two years of school. He'd always take me out to fancy places, buy me stuff. It was fun in a sort of materialistic way. We all like it when someone takes care of us. I know there are days I look at my bills and wish I had a sugar daddy. <laughs> and been working on the absurd into tuition and other costs, mostly waiting the absurd restaurants instead. It's her give me the extra cash I needed for my day to day stuff. After a while, while I really liked it, the showmanship performing in front of an audience. You do like it, you love it. I've never seen anyone so enthusiastic about making drinks and getting to know people. He beamed at me from across the table. His hand sliding across it towards mine. He stopped short and looked back down at his plate. His smile vanishing. He didn't though. Said it was a waste of time. Oh, that I'd never make any money that way or go anywhere important. Oh, poor guy. That's when it, the fight started. I broke it up and he went and we went our separate ways. I went back to girls and he lost a head. He was off in New York somewhere with a law firm or an investment bank or something. I don't get it. What does that have to do with dating guys? He shrugged a little. Lowering his case to the table. He was my first and I guess just assumed most guys were going to be like him. Working in a bar. I <coughs> saw how most guys approached women and figured that was the norm. So I just dove into what I loved. I get to flirt here and there. Maybe have, have dinner with an at Practicing women, women and not get judged for doing what I want with my knife. 
Oh. Yax. I'm not going to judge you. It's part of the reason I asked you out. In a room full of hell trying to be seen. You stood out the most to me. Oh. Well, think about it. In that game you can make a female character. But unfortunately, the game will take it. And the character will see you as a male, unfortunately. Uh, which is kind of sad. Because what if I wanted to make a female character who wants to go out with Jax? I know that he's not totally gay, more base hexual. So it should have worked out. Anyway, let's continue. You sweet Targary, you. I'm not your ex, and I'm certainly not someone who only wants to get into your skimpy. And a very flattering brief. I called you because I wanted to get to know you. Beyond your abilities to mix two rings and flirt. Believe me. I know, for one thing, he'd never visit me at work, but another, he'd never instigate anything he didn't already want to do. We sat and shuddered for a short while, talking about our hosts and a little about our present. Unfortunately, it wasn't long before the kitchen doors were open. Once more, Jack's co workers hovering in and looking quite haggard. Jax, the girls out there are up, but it's not a bar brawl if you don't come back out. This ain't the, the only one who knows how to splice a mango with the sexy. Both of us of sniggered before turning. Back to each other. Give me a second to clean up. Tell them I'm grabbing all the melon stick and one. The bartender nodded and smiled in relief before heading back out of the main room. The two of us took that I to clean up and had a little bit more. Once we finished with the bitches, Doug turned to me with a resigned smile. Well, it seems my public and wait. Sorry to cut the date so short. The downside of being a working stiff these days. It's alright. Not like to have a free time from an unemp. Loymed is doing mu me much good. I'm glad we got more time together. It's flattering, really, considering how in demand you seem to be. Wouldn't hate any other way. <laughs> I took a total attention, ho. I couldn't help but choke him. It was comforting to see the confident, sharp to rush. The rest guy who served to me my first to drink again. He always looked best at his bluest. Well, we both are blue, so that's good. I expect a fair date. You know, maybe a fair than a half date. Considering this one wasn't nearly as much as our first. I'll try to make it a little more interesting than the back of Hitcher at your work. Next time, I'll bring muffins and higher works. <laughs> yes, now that's heading the bar pretty high. <laughs> he winked at me and took a step back as it if to leave. I could feel the pull, the attraction of a moment that lingered between us. Like there was more to say or do. 
Maybe it was just me wanting more time with him. Uh, it is a second date, so. Well, I might as well do that. Before he could walk away, I placed a hand gently on his shoulder. Once he turned, I leaned in close and pressed my lips firmly against his. He immediately melted into the kiss. His eyes fluttering shut as he pressed his body close to mine. The two of us held that moment for a, as long as we could. Tongues touching us, our hands clutched each other tightly. Reluctantly, I pulled away and stroked his cheek softly. You can expect that better than that on our next date. Wow, I don't think I can look forward it more than I already did. <coughs> he coughed lightly and adjusted himself, his gimby brief now a little high tighter than usual. Around his sensitive areas, he kissed me gently on the cheek and strode back out into the club. Good night, handsome. Standing the pants quite awkwardly tight in the darkened kitchen, I felt more comfortable and confident than I had in a while. I ducked out the back door and to avoid the crowds and made my way back to the car. Now I knew the feeling was mutual, and the first date was going to be something monumental. At least, that was my intention. No, I just had to deal with Kobe badgering me for more details. It was kind of fun being the one with hoping to talk about instead of him. And the story of a is like that, on how to be sure. Well... Take lot number four for games. Hey, so. oh. let's end it for now. So, until next time, see ya.